Hello everyone, uh, welcome to the first episode of the Zero Spoilers First Issue Review. What this is going to be is we're going to look at independent comic books, things that might not necessarily be on people's radars. Review them, talk about them, um, discuss them with yourselves, and let you know our thoughts, our honest thoughts, our non-paid for thoughts on what the comic book is like, what it's about, how the artwork is, and move on from there. So, the first comic book that we're going to do is Image Comics Cowl which we'll put a picture of somewhere. Cowell stands for Chicago Organized Workers League, which sounds very boring and official, but what it actually is, is a police force made up entirely of superheroes. It's had its glory day back in the 40s when the world was filled with supervillains and they actually had a purpose. Uh, but the comic actually begins with a guy called Skylancer, getting into a street fight with these four or five superheroes who do take him down. But in doing that, they have taken down the last supervillain. So that kind of brings into question, do you really need superheroes policing the streets when there's no supervillains to be taken down? Writer Kyle Higgins does an incredible job of making these superhumans very human. They have the same issues that me and you would have in our jobs about shifts being too long and problems at home where you're not really liking your children anymore because they're reaching the teenage years and becoming a bit of an arsehole. At one point whilst on a street patrol a superhero called Eclipse uh, finds a peeping tongue and is really annoyed with the guy because he's obviously caught him before. Actually gets his dick out and starts pissing on him and eventually just knocks the guy out when he gets into a conversation with another guy who seems to be more on the detective side of things. He's actually created this real infrastructure, this real seeming police force that's filled with superheroes. There's people who are on the street walking patrolling, there's people in dispatches, there's detectives, uh, there's managers, uh, and it just seems very real and how it probably would be. See, when I first heard about the comic book, I, I initially brought up images of Tony Stark's Superhero Registration Act back in the Civil War, the Marvel Civil War. It is and it isn't like that. The reason why it is like that is because superheroes now don't wear masks. They're public. They get a paycheck at the end of the day. The reason why it isn't like that is because it's been around for a long time. It's an established organisation, so all the original fears that existed in the Civil War of what if my family are in danger and all that, that's kind of past the people who are superheroes who work within this industry have obviously voluntarily gone for these jobs and that they actually work within the police force as the police force do in real life. There's a real hint at the actual frustrations that would go along with being a superhero in a world that didn't really need you to be a superhero. Like if you're patrolling the streets and you do catch a pervert, the, 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 the over-the-top violence that is used to deal with that situation and just kind of puts you in the mindset of that particular hero. He's probably used to fighting supervillains with loads of powers and, and larger than life personalities but instead he's fighting street criminals and, and, and petty thieves which is probably not what he was destined to do. So this now brings us on to the artwork and Rod Rees done an absolutely impeccable job of, of bringing this world to life. The artwork itself is extremely detailed whilst having a very almost washy aspect to it. The sound effects of, of guns being shot and, and cars exploding, specifically in the first couple of pages, is absolutely incredible. The world itself seems to mould into what's actually happening and the sounds that are being produced. The facial expressions and, and everything is just so detailed, it's unbelievable. I think that myself, the reason why I'll probably come back to this comic and I'll continue reading it is because as much as I do enjoy the writing, the artwork is incredible, it really is beautiful to read. In my opinion, I would buy this book. I did buy this book. Personally, I use the Comixology app on my iPad and that's how I read comic books, but however you decide you're going to read comic books, I highly recommend you get hold of Cowl. This kind of brings me on to uh, the next thing that I want to talk about. Now, even though we're going to be doing this weekly, I am also putting together something called the Wig and Pull List. What that will be is a book that is recommended to you guys monthly and then you go away, you read the book, and, and then you come back to us and we all discuss it, uh, what we liked about it, what we disliked about it, and then we put forward the opportunity for you guys to recommend a book to us. We will have a look at the recommendations, we'll choose maybe the top three, 
and then we'll put that back out again to the vote so you guys can vote and you can decide which comic book that we will read next. Now it needs to be either a graphic novel or a comic book series that's less than 10 issues long. You know, we don't want to make it too ridiculous. We'll put links in the, the description below that goes to our Facebook page, so please get involved. Uh, we would really love to find out what you guys think. And great sort of sense of community around us being able to share comic books and, and put some appreciation back into the actual comic book. As much as I really do like the, the cinematic universes that are being created left, right and centre, and not just the Marvel stuff and the DC stuff, there are a lot of independent comic books that have been turned into movies and they, they're good, but they don't really do it that much justice. It's, it would be better if we were able to read them. People don't read enough. Read more. So that's the whole aim of this. Hopefully it will be successful. If not, then whatever. I still get to read comic books, so I'm fine with that. Like, comment, subscribe. Please give me a reason to continue making these videos because I really do want to continue making these videos. Um, leave your comments on if you do read Cowl. I would love to know what you guys think. The next comic book that I'll be reviewing, I'm not sure what that is just yet, but when it comes around to it, I'll be making a video and letting you guys know what I think of it. But until then, thank you very much for tuning in. Bye bye.